Yo guys, it's just Game here, and I'm back with another video. Um, don't forget to check out my latest videos that I just uploaded. I'm going to be uploading every day, and like, comment, and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, there are more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Keep it cool and classy. Let's get it. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. Let's get it. Make sure y'all can hear me. Hope you guys having a good day. Hope you guys, you know, had a good start of the month so far and a good start of the year. True Macy's story. Wow. A few days ago, I went to a Macy's store with my mother and son to go check out some jewelry. While okay. my mom was checking out jewelry, I noticed an old man around his 50s come near us. He was about eight feet from us. At first, I thought he was... I don't even know if I paused it, but if I did, my fault. Um, no, 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 no. Whoops. I'm drawing. I think I put, I don't know. But, um, right. You saw my old man following you. I mean, I mean, oh. at least you can tell something's up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think I was it. Um, I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. I'm playing too much. He's tripping. Jeez. But at least you know, like, what's going on, like, your surrounding and stuff like that. At least you know, you know? Beauty or something. Then, from the corner of my eye, I noticed he was just standing there without moving See? and looking at us. See? It made me feel uncomfortable, See, so I turned around, moving the stroller, which my toddler was in, because I didn't want him looking at my baby. I turned my eyes to look at him again, and I could see that he was just staring at me with a creepy look. Wow. Wow. Look at, look at that. It's, I'm gonna spell it out for you. P E. D O I think P H I L E or if it's not that it's F I L E what I'm trying to say he's a pedophile like look at look at that nobody sees that you were in Macy's I mean Macy's they have security guards security cameras everybody been in Macy's more than one time in their lifetime you know what I'm saying at least twice or not I've been in Macy's so far like let's say about eight times because I don't really shop in Macy's like that but look at that I pass by Macy's but I don't really go in Macy's like that you know it's for like luxurious stuff but like look look at that come on now that's that's just disturbing imagine imagine if you imagine that you just minding your business it's like somebody at GameStop Right, you looking at a game, you looking at a game in the games in a section and then you turn around and seeing somebody doing this. You know? Just just imagine going to seven eleven, getting yourself a hot dog and you turn around and see somebody doing that. Like, you no know, if I, if that was me, if I was at GameStop, right, and I was getting some games like looking or looking jotting down what games I want and looking in the section, I turn around and see somebody uh staring at me like that, you know, I'm gonna be like, Look, hey, as much as I love video games Right? I don't even want it no more. I don't even want it today. You know, this, this is a video game, right? And the store, right? And I'm looking at it, and then I turn around and see somebody looking at me. I'm going to put it down today. You know what? 
I can get it tomorrow. I can get it another time. It's not that serious. What's somebody doing that? He was staring at me and my baby. Then all of a sudden, he grinned widely at us. Oh my god. See? You're not about to just stare at me like that and, s and smile like that. You, you, know, you know, some, like, he needs some toothpaste, pirate teeth looking behind. Pirate teeth looking behind, streck teeth looking behind. Look at that. Oh, nah. If I, I'm sorry, if I was hurt, I'd be like, you know what? As much as I love going to Macy's, you know, I don't even want to go to Macy's no more. You got it. Look at that. So you mean to tell me Macy's have creeps now? What the hell is his old ass doing in, in Macy's? Come on now. The weirdest thing about him was that he was wearing women's shoes and a... <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry for pausing that. He, he's a pedophile. I'm sorry. You know what? That's the last I'm pausing the video. This is crazy. A scarf and also holding a dress in his hand. He opened his mouth and tried to say something. I couldn't hear what he was saying, but I could read his lips. I like you. I like your baby. I just thought the man was a weirdo. And then my mom also noticed that he was odd and creepy. He saw that my mom was glaring at him, so he walked away. But then he appeared on the opposite side of us wow. and started staring at me again. This time he pulled his phone out and made it seem like he was about to take a picture. He was staring at us and his eyes opened widely. <laughs> he was smiling like a crazy psychopath. That was enough. I wanted to go up to him and tell him to get away from us, but I had my boy with me and didn't want anything to happen, so I chose to just get out of there. I told a lady who was working there what happened. She said that she would go take a look at him. A few minutes later, she came back and told us that he was a customer who has been reported before by other people. My mom asked, why hasn't he been kicked out then? The lady said, well, because he hasn't threatened or hurt anyone, so the store doesn't have a good enough reason to kick him out. That doesn't matter. You don't stare at nobody like that. It doesn't matter. That's harass. It's sort of harassment by you following people and going up to somebody like a weirdo, having your that track phone, that Obama phone, trying to take a picture of low quality out and taking a picture of them foggy behind camera you know it's, it's like me going to, going to the store right okay so what but it's weird you know just randomly who does that like no if I don't know you I don't want you to put a camera up to my face you know I don't want if I don't know you and you act weird like that I don't want you to put a camera up to my face it's, a, it's gonna be a problem now in that situation I would have got away because he's sort of, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. My mom and I were pissed off because obviously the man is just there to harass people. The lady then told us that he said something creepy to her and also made her uncomfortable. She told us that when she went to go ask him what he was up to, he told her that he went to the store to return a dress. He decided that he didn't like that he bought it for his lady. He told her with a smile, Yeah, I need to change quickly because she's cold now. My mom and I instantly felt so creeped out, so we just left. What did that mean? Could he have been hiding a dead body back at his place? A few days later, and I feel relieved that the crazy guy didn't harm us. But I'm still wondering what he meant by, She's cold now. See what I'm saying? It's like he, he was a weirdo from the start. Regardless, either way, you know what I'm talking about. 
we don't have a reason to kick him out because he didn't harm nobody. And I understand that. I totally understand that. But when you have a phone, right, and, and you're just going to, and you know, you're staring at somebody like this, right, and then follow them, and then, like, come on now. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. More videos are coming up, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.